New tonight, the EPA is working to make sure contaminated groundwater does not make it into your faucet. The contaminated site is an industrial parking lot near Fleur Drive and Bell. KCCI's Pepper Pepper is there live tonight with more on the cleanup efforts. Pepper. That's right, Ben Stacy. Just a few dozen feet under where I'm standing right now, that dangerous chemical is mixing in with Des Moines groundwater. The Iowa DNR says they've been watching this site for years now, but now that it's becoming a problem, they have to do something. Migrating under the pavement is a danger to Des Moines. It's a known carcinogen, and that's why we do not want it in the drinking water. TCE is now in the city's groundwater. The chemical is commonly found in solvents to degrease or remove paint. The Environmental Protection Agency says Iowa found the chemical near the Raccoon River in 2004. They've been monitoring it ever since. But now? It's moving off of the site, and in time, it would become an issue for the public water supply. Des Moines Water Works CEO Ted Corgan says it hasn't reached their drinking supply yet. But the EPA wants it cleaned up before it's too late. They'll determine what the best option is and they'll get it cleaned up. The river has been threatened by this chemical before. The DICO site has been in remediation for almost 30 years and it's still ongoing. TCE also showed up here and dozens of other areas across the country. Actually, there are quite a few of them around Des Moines. Because decades ago, products that used the chemical... And they would just dump it on the ground when they were done with it. ...letting it soak into the groundwater. To get it out, the EPA will investigate the site. Water's protected today, it's, it's safe, but uh, we don't want this site to become a problem in the future. And since the EPA is involved, the funds to do this cleanup will not come from Iowa tax, tax dollars. It will come from federal funds. Uh, but the whole project could take a few years to complete. In Des Moines, Pepper Papura, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.